Hi, it's uh, Michael Pilarski, and here we are on 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, America. And we're going to look briefly at uh, the second year of this Finn River planting. We have a lot of photos up last year, and you could compare what it looked like then. Um, but look how filled in this area is getting now. This is what I really call a closed canopy system here. You can see there's some, you can see the chips on the ground here, but uh, we have an acorus calamus in between the row here, raspberries rankly marching on it. And then look at these elderberries. These were from cuttings last year stuck in the ground. And this year they're giving a lot of flower and will give a lot of fruit. Further on down the line, we can see some lovage. I see some elecampane, yellow flowers down there. And then further in the middle here, you can't even really see them. I can see a little foliage. There is some um, uh, giant fennel down there too. So this, this acorus calamus is in, this is a second year. So we can take this out this year at the end of this fall because the raspberries are going to advance in here and the elderberries are going to get big. So there's really not, we'll need this for the walkway. So it was planned this way that, it, that this would come out in the second year and become the walkway. We have a lot of raspberry leaf here and we could really get a lot of production here from the raspberry leaf as well as the elderflowers and the calamus root. So, We'll look at a couple other spots in here. Let's go take a look. Okay, here's another part of a good closed canopy system through this area here. Big yellow campaign. This will be their end of the, we'll be digging the root this fall. Look at the size of that plant. We'll get some seed crop off of it. Here is a bone set. And Two weeks and we'll be flowering and we'll be harvesting the first cutting of the tops of that. Back in here we have some sweet Sicily. We'll be harvesting the seed from that. Here's Nanking cherry sticking out of it. So here's our woody shrub component. Um, there's some meadow sweet back in here. Use some artichokes past that. And there's a nice row of black cohosh. Some of them are really getting good size. And the row stretching down here of uh, black root or culver's root. That's going to be flowering soon, and that's a four-year root crop, so that's a ways to go. Uh, and then over here we have a lot of bugleweed. You can see the valerian flowers popping up, uh, an orange-flowered composite. There's a lot of sweet flag in here. Doing really well. Here's some horseradish that's a two-year root crop so that'll be ready to harvest this fall as well further back here we have some tall joe pie weed eupatorium purpureum you can see a few echinacea sticking up through here yarrow so there's again quite a diversity of crops it's filling the space pretty nicely here there's still a room on the uh, understory here in some places and some places have been replanted yet and the goldenrod over here is coming along nicely and we'll get a big goldenrod harvest here in a while so yeah there's just a, a peek at one section of the farm here okay here's another part of the garden uh, and Part of it's been uh, harvested from last year, so we're replanting. So here's a elderberry, and there's a whole lot of Rugosa rose in here too in a row. Volunteer California poppy. I'm very I like California poppy. It almost always sends up volunteers, 
and this is at a great stage for harvesting right now full flower a little bit of seed pod but not too much yet there's lemon balm back here sage more bone set mugwort over there and here's a new crop we got in uh, this is pellitory related to nettles it's uh, a kidney uh, a plant for kidney problems and so we're one of the first people to be growing that in the in the US so um, Everybody's looking for pellitory out there. Sweet bergamot. Which tends to get mildew. One of the problems we haven't figured out yet. We're still figuring things out. Lots of lots of catnip. Just going into flower, time to harvest the catnip like next week. And there's a demand for borage in the beverage industry. Uh, so uh, the Kyle and Claire planted a lot of borage this year. And this is last year's annual cropping area back over here. So that was all harvested and tilled. And this year we're uh, doing sweet annie in here, more borage, teasel, a few other annuals. So we're keeping this area into annuals. You can see um, a bit of shade cloth and a lot of chips. So keeping some annual space in the system as well as the perennials, which is most of the system as you can see back there. So just wanted to give you a brief update on the Finn River planting here. It's going into its second year. Here we are, July 4th, second year. And uh, it's, uh, most of it is, it's almost all planted. Almost everything's doing well. We've got to wait for some of these little babies to get up there. But it looks like another good year. <laughs>